Keith Dewsnup, Community Reporter. I'm at the Middleton, Haywood and Rochdale No to the Bedroom Tax Meeting and I'm here with the only councillor who actually managed to attend, uh, Phil. Um, just tell us uh, what, why you're here and uh, what your thoughts are on the bedroom tax, Phil. As a local councillor from Middleton West representing people on Langley, um, I feel it's important that I come and listen to the concerns of this group. And uh, you, you were, um, it was quite a vocal group, uh, quite a lot was discussed. Um, what, what do you think you can take away from it yourself and uh, how can uh, you engage other councillors and maybe the politicians? And Well I've listened to the concerns from the group tonight and one of the concerns is they're not getting listened to when they go to their own local housing groups. They're going in and they're being told you will pay the bedroom tax, there's no way out. I'm happy to say that working closely with Riverside on Langley, they've put measures in place to help people who are struggling to pay the bedroom tax. For example, on a Friday morning, they have a welfare white rights worker where people who think they're going to have any problems can come in and discuss the best ways forward. Maybe come up with an agreement to pay. I know people don't want to pay or can't afford to pay, but at least if they come along and listen to the welfare rights worker or they put mechanisms mechanisms in place to help them along the way mm. it'll stop this fear of the eviction what people have, have got I mean you, you walk around the estate we've got a lot of families struggling and a lot of people are really seriously worried about being evicted but mm. they're not helping themselves by not doing anything about it sure. what I'm saying is come and speak to your local councillors like myself who's completely against the bedroom tax come and speak to the housing associations especially where I'm on with Riverside and let's see if we can put a plan of action in place we know it won't stop and you'll only bring the um, the raised down slightly, but at least we've got things in place to stop that fear of, it, of the eviction against you. So um, you mentioned that there, if someone's watching this on YouTube or have you, how, how can they get to this thing on a Friday? Is it where, where it's, if you go into the Riverside offices on Lakeland Court, Lingbell Drive, they, they go to the main counter and ask to see the welfare rights worker. But you don't need to make an appointment. He is very busy because, like I said, I can I'm imagine, a, yeah. quite a big office when they stay at, and we do have a lot of cases. Mm. My case work has gone on through the roof, to be honest. Yeah. Working alongside the other councillors, we are working as hard as we can to try and help the people on Monday. And if uh, obviously you can only speak for your kind of area and what have you, are you aware of any other kind of council uh, council areas doing similar things? Is that something that's likely to be available across Middle and uh, Haywood and Rochdale? Yeah, I'm aware that all the housing associations have put measures in place to help all the tenants across the borough of Rochdale. So approach your local housing officers and ask them for advice and help. They should be giving you the help and advice what you need. I mean, you heard in the meeting, I'm, I'm quite vocal myself, um, we, we, we did do the demo outside the Riverside and as, as you've said, uh, they echoed that sentiment that they are against the bedroom tax. So it sounds like a lot of the councillors and a lot of the housing, again it's been in the press, Bradford, uh, was it Edinburgh, you know, are coming out against it. There seems to be a lot of support for no to the bedroom tax. Is, uh, you know, on a council level or an MP level, is it nothing that can be done to abolish the tax itself? I think the pro problem you've got, the government sets out so much money per boroughs, per councils per year, and that money, the bedroom tax must be included within mm. the budget. Mm. Now, if you're not pulling the, if you're not implementing the bedroom tax, you weigh down on the budget what's been set. So I think what this is why the housing associations are collecting it, not because they want to collect it, they've got no choice but to mm. collect it. Um, I'm just trying to think how it. I mean, I'd just like to say thank you uh, for, for attending as a councillor, because I believe all the uh, you know uh, councillors who were at the the meeting that the demo was at were invited. Um, I believe one uh, replied to say no. So it sounds like we've not actually had any kind of communication from them. Um, so fair play to you for, for attending and uh, thanks for the input and uh, thanks for doing the interview. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add as an, as an end note, if you like? Well, as a local councillor, a landlord, I feel it's important that people have 
voice their concerns to the council and they keep voicing the concerns. This tax will not go away and the more pressure which is put on the local councils, the local um, housing associations, someone will crack sooner or later. Mm. And we need to build up the support across the borough. It's pointless just having a Middleton group. We all need to link in with each other. We need to link in with Rochdale, Haywood, Middleton, and it need be linking to outer areas such as Manchester, Blakely, and all the other areas. Mm -hmm. So can we expect to see you at future meetings? Depending what my schedule's like, I have no problem attending the meetings. Sure. And if you can uh, go back and tell your colleagues and friends and whatever, and maybe we'll get a few more at the next one. Yeah, that's no problem whatsoever. All right, thanks again, Phil.